Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Lipsy. I'm a squat specialist and today I've got a great show for you on the arch in the low back and whether or not it should be neutral or bananaed or somewhat rounded, which some people do, which obviously shouldn't be the case. So you're going to see video by a world-renowned expert, Dr. Stuart McGill, on how the back should be positioned. So let's get to it, watch the video, and I'll catch up with you on the back end. Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Lipsy, and I'm here with world-renowned spine expert Dr. Stuart McGill to discuss whether or not there should be a bow in the back when you pull or when you squat. What I mean by that is most lifters, they've been taught to get a really big chest and the back arch becomes more prominent. So we're going to discuss with Dr. McGill whether or not that should be the case. Dr. McGill? Well, there are several uh, syndromes that can arise uh, when you put the spine out of its neutral curve and uh, under load. So generally speaking, uh, if you want to pull the most load in the safest way, we want the neutral curves preserved. So those who compensate by inf over inflating, really lifting the chest, they'll end up, as you will see, many of them with thoracolumbar junction pain. Uh, so just to start that as a little correction, We'll just start them off with uh, a little bit of an Okinawan Karate pose. Okay. So face me, feet shoulder width apart, make fists, and wrap them around in front. Now, compress down, pull down with your pecs and lats, and try and get a neutral alignment through here, and add a little bit of stiffness. Push my fingers out with your uh, lateral obliques. Now, put your hands on your thighs, keep all that locked in neutral, and slide your hands down your thighs as you slide your pelvis back. Your knees stay approximately between the heels and the balls of your feet. Now, don't grab your knees like this with your hands. Make a V with your thumb and your finger and wrap around your kneecap this way. Now, I want you to anti-shrug. Don't worry about triple extension and pulling yet. I want the opposite. I want you to push down. Carry the weight down your uh, arms, pulling down with your pecs and lats, stiffening your back. Now at this point, keep that stiffness and pull your hips through as you slide your hands up your thighs. There's the beginning of a very uh, back protected high performance pull. Now we're going to just uh, add a few more nuances. Let's slide our hands, a little bit of Okinawan Karate compression, pull down, now, hands on your thighs, slide them down your knees, down your thighs, pardon me, grab your knees, hands around your, your knees like this, anti-shrug and push off. Now, I want you to slide down a little bit further. You can bend your knees a little bit, and there you are, nice. Now, pretend you're grabbing a bar, Aaron, and what I want you to do is try and bend the bar with stiff arms using your lats. No, don't pull back, just rotate around and use the big lats here. Grab the bar, now drag it up your thigh as you pull your hips through now. Nice, well done. And just uh, uh, one more little uh, cue for you. Try and make uh, what we call a big foot. Grip the ground with your toes and the heels, broadening out the base of support. So now as you're Bending the bar and stiffening your back, I want you to try and spread the floor and externally rotate through that floor grip. Now add that and you will find a much bigger drive in the uh, glutes. Start to bend around here and spread the floor. Nice. Very powerful and uh, very protective to your Excellent. back. There you have it folks the back arch in the lumbar with regards to squatting or pulling, like in a deadlift, should be fairly neutral and not excessively curved. Uh, this is the best way to generate power if you're looking to lift heavy. Thank you, Dr. McGill. Uh, we'll see you next time. In the meantime, you may want to visit www.backfitpro.com to grab his book, Ultimate Back Fitness and Performance. It's a fantastic read and has a lot of great info in there with regards to lifting as well. See you next time. Okay folks, so there you have it. When you want to pull or push in the gym, bench presses, deadlifts, squats, what have you, you want to have a natural and neutral curve in your low back and apply the bracing techniques to support the spine. Many people you see bench press have that big coke can arch 
Many people have that huge banana back when they squat. A lot of women do. Those are things you're going to want to avoid. If you want more great information on Dr. McGill's work, you can visit www.backfitpro.com. This is the book uh, with regards to performance and spine health that he'd written. It's a fantastic read. I really encourage you to get it, whether you're a clinician, some sort of practitioner, or just a fitness fanatic. So there you have it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, as well as visit me at www.howtosquat.net for more great content there.